Our hymn of the day is just as I am without one plea. The words are by Charlotte Elliott and the music is by William Bradbury. Charlotte's family belonged to the evangelical wing of the Anglican Church. She was born in the South London district of Clapham in 1789. She was a gifted portrait artist and a writer of humorous verse. But then at age 32, she suffered an illness that left her an invalid, disabled for the rest of her life. Her brother, the Reverend Henry Van Elliot, who was an ardent abolitionist, conceived the plan to establish a school for the daughters of clergymen and to hold a bazaar to raise money for the venture. As the parishioners of St. Mary's Hall at Brighton busied themselves preparing for the bazaar, Charlotte's inability to contribute due to her physical infirmity left her distressed and depressed. Following a long night of stress, she took pen and paper and conquering her night of the dark soul, restated in verse the reassuring gospel of pardon, peace, and heaven, which became our hymn, Just As I Am. First occurring in the Christian Remembrancer, she took her final verse from Hours of Sorrow and Cheerful Comforted. Miss Elliot wrote 150 hymns and poems in Psalms and Hymns for Public, Private, and Social Worship, the Invalid's Hymn, Morning and Evening Hymns. She died in Brighton in 1871. William Bad Bradbury was born in Maine in 1816 and lived until 1868 when he died in New Jersey. He composed our tune, Woodworth, for Eliot's lyrics and published it for the first time in the third song of Psalmody in 1849. We know his compositions well, such as He Leadeth Me and Jesus Loves Me. The hymn is used by many for altar calls. I remember it from visiting my neighbor's Broadway Baptist Church growing up. In 1934, Billy Graham heard it as an altar call at a revival meeting in Charlotte, North Carolina, and experienced a conversion. Graham used this hymn in almost every one of his crusades and as the title of his autobiography. 